Hello, Twin Flames. Hello, Divine Feminines and Divine Masculines. This is a video where I'm going to spy on Divine Masculine. It's a mind reading. Welcome to my channel, Alchemy of Twins, with me, Kiki. I am channeling the ancient wisdom of Hermes. This is his feather, and I'm going to dust you off with it. Subscribe to this channel and like the video so that this reading will connect you to the collective resonance. I greet you in the love and light to the one infinite creator, Adonai. We communicate now. On Divine Masculine's mind regarding you, Divine Feminine, Lord God, source of eternal life and truth, give to Divine Feminine the wisdom, guidance, and counsel she needs regarding her Divine Masculine, and excavate and uncover the unconscious motives from Divine Masculine regarding his Divine Feminine. So prior to this up and coming second week of July, Something romantic, secretly romantic was happening between the two of you. Oh my Jesus, you said, ask him we shall receive, seek him we shall find, knock, and the door will be open to us. You tape off, hey. Shin Aleph, hey. Hey Aleph, Aleph. Hey Aleph, Aleph is order out of chaos. Shin Aleph, hey is soulmate. Everybody has a soulmate, according to the Zohar. That, that's the book of Genesis and the first five books of the Bible. We all have a soulmate. Some people don't believe in soulmates, but we do. So before we incarnated, before we came into the world here, we were one being because we were made in his image god god's image both male and female so before eve adam was both male and female and it wasn't good for adam to be alone so god created all of the animals and none of them were suitable for him as a partner or a companion so then god made adam fall asleep he opened him up he took his rib out and he made eve so he took the girl out of the man woman, <laughs> I guess you could say the hermaphrodite, and they were split the same way that Twin Flames soulmates were split before you came into this incarnation. And the Zohar talks about how every female and male were are split, not just Adam and Eve, but everyone before your incarnation. And you are also announced to one another when you come into the world. And you can Google soulmates and the Zohar and find out a lot of information about these connections and how to come together and how it all works. But definitely last week there was a mutual understanding of your soulmate connection that you definitely feel a resonance with one another. You're on the same frequency. You're on the same vibration than anybody else at this given moment in your life. And that feels like a soulmate connection. That's what soulmate is. It's we resonate with each other. There's resonance. And I want to be in relationship with you. So there's this mutuality between the two of you, mutual agreement, mutual trust, mutual love, mutual affection that exists now. It's romantic in nature here with the Knight of Cups. This is the Knight of Cups with the Two of Wands. Two of Wands is like the two flames. That's a fire card. And Cups is all about love. And this is summer. It might feel like a summer love. It might feel casual. It might feel like it's not solidified at this point. It might just feel like a honeymoon phase or you're just falling in love or you're in love. And because of here with the high priestess, it tells me that you have deep feelings that you haven't expressed to each other. 
the high priestess says there's a lot of secrets. There's a lot of information that you're not sharing. You're keeping it casual. You're keeping it light with the Knight of Cups. Why are they keeping it casual? Why are they keeping it light? Five of Earth, three of Earth. Because five of Earth is... It's like maybe you just don't even believe in love. <laughs> like, does love really even exist on earth? Can I ever trust anyone? Is this going to last? It seems like nothing on earth lasts, you know? And people treat one another as disposable now. So there is this sort of wanting to stay grounded and not lose your footing in a relationship. You enjoy wearing the mask and staying in sort of a higher realm where you can just enjoy a connection with somebody that feels really authentic because once you get the earthly affairs involved, then you might lose that high resonance that feels good. So maybe what you feel and what you resonate feels really good and that's enough that's just enough for you at this time. And I feel that this is mutual between the two of you, that you are in mutual agreement about this. Love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you, letting you know. So when you stay in this not sharing the depth of your feelings, but you feel it, you feel it deeply, you feel the deep resonance, it's easier for you to express your love to each other because you haven't gotten the earthly affairs involved. And so that's where you're at. You, you share your love with each other. You're very open and expressive about your love, but you don't talk about the depth of your love, High Priestess, and you don't get your earthly affairs involved and you're keeping it casual. He might be the one keeping it casual. He could be the one that believes this divine feminine because this is a mind reading. He could be he could be the one that is like earth. You know, love doesn't really exist. Love is always going to fail me, and I don't want to get my earthly life involved. I want to keep it up here in a higher realm, in the fifth dimension, three of fire. It would be like above the earthly realm. Fire is that's Atiluth. And three, that's earth. He's like, while I'm on earth, I want to keep it up there and add to Luther. I want to have the connection on this realm, earthly. I want to keep it on the five, fifth dimension. Because it's, it's a distressing energy, five of earth. He's distressed. Okay, so this is coming into this week. This is the door, the odyssey, taking the beauty of country lands and botany, explore the wonder like a gypsy traveler odyssey. Yeah, he just rather treat the connection like something spiritual that he enjoys. It's a lovely journey. It's an odyssey and it's beautiful. And he doesn't want to taint it with the earthly affairs. You know, it's a beautiful doorway that the two of you go through when you connect. Look at all that blooming bougainvillea when you connect on the higher realm. He wants to keep it like that. He doesn't want to get the earthly affairs involved. This is coming into the reading, coming into the second week of July. So it looks like the first week of July, there's romance, there's connection. You come together, you're... You're texting love, you're expressing love, It's, but it's not deep love. It's very casual expression of love. It's like you're not sure if what he's saying is, does he believe it? Is it true? Is he just saying that? I lost myself for a little while. Yeah, I also think that the first week of July was kind of a reunion for the two of you because he was kind of focused on himself like he was not like inward self but outward self outward self and you might have gotten put on the back burner 
he got put on the back burner, like his inner self, and now he's getting back to the basics with you, really, is what I see there with the Knight of Cups. Getting back to the basics. He's not going inward, but that's being hidden. What's inward with the High Priestess, that's being hidden at this point. Okay, because he wants to keep it. He likes... He likes the connect. He likes the deep resonance, but he doesn't want to talk about it. He doesn't want to talk about it. That's what it is. Okay, so that's coming into the week. Now I'm going to find out what he's thinking, how he feels, how who you are to him, what he wants with you, and what he's doing this second week of July, and. I'll also ask, what does he think about the connection? How does he feel about it? What does that connection look like to him? And what does he want for the connection and what is he going to do about it? And this reading will be available on my princess level of my YouTube membership. Thank you for everybody that joined. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to be notified of other videos that post. I post several videos every week. You can also watch this video on Vimeo. It's available over there streaming now. Leave your comment on how this relates to your situation. And... Let's get into it. What does Divine Masculine think about you, Divine Feminine? What does he think about you? 